What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Judy Greer did an interview with Collider a week ago and she kind of just went over the details about Karen, not details, but talked about Karen's death, how she reacted to it when she got the call from David, how she kind of didn't want to talk to him because she knew what the call was about and just expressed how she was, she, she was of course not happy about the decision, but she ultimately had it explained to her why it had to be her and just how she while she wasn't necessarily happy about it like why does it have to be me that's what she stated in her uh comments and i'll leave a link to the article in the description she understood why her character had to go but she also did disclose i i believe that david offered her a opportunity to read the script for ends and she denied it because of the fact that her character is not involved in it anymore so Judy Greer denying the script for ends, I think would indicate to me, not denying the script as in she rejected it, but again, denying it in the sense that she didn't want to read it when she had the opportunity to read it when it was offered to her. So I think that indicates to us that, or to me anyway, Judy Greer's character of Karen will not be appearing in any fashion. That doesn't confirm it though, of course, but I'm just thinking this means she won't be appearing in the film that's what i'm thinking at this point she could still appear i would love to see her appear of course she wouldn't be alive because she is dead and that's just how it how it would have to be but now i just want to talk more about knowing that she denied the script and more so why she is okay with the death and why it was the right decision to kill off karen outside of the three not saying that any one of them had to die but if you're gonna pick one it needed to be karen Jamie couldn't do it uh, for obvious reasons. I think I don't even need to go into too much detail there. She's Laurie Strode. She, this is what the trilogy is centered around and that trauma and overcoming that trauma. And then you have Karen's daughter, who is the youngest of these legacy characters or generational of generational trauma, I would say, not legacy characters, but generational trauma. Uh, so with Allison and her struggles, we're going to want to see that manifested a little bit more and dug it dug into a little bit more with the sequels like a kills in the ends so with kills being the second part of this trilogy allison dying while it could have happened i'm not shocked that it was the middle individual who died over the other two because the other two represent the oldest someone who's been here since the beginning with Lori. And then the youngest in Allison, someone who is going to have to carry the mantle once this is all said and done. Someone who's going to have to carry the trauma of these Halloween nights and the trauma that she knows her grandmother has endured. So when considering that, you have the middle individual, Karen, who essentially represents the bridge between the past and the future. <laughs> so, I mean, that that's that's kind of why I think that killing Karen was the appropriate decision outside of killing the past Lori, and then the future in karen's own daughter allison someone's gonna have to carry the mantle at the end it's gonna it most likely will be allison not saying again that Lori is gonna die but again this just kind of gives you more reasoning as to why if you were to kill one of the three considering how i see them represented in this trilogy karen was the one that was the most expendable now Karen's death, I do believe, could have been handled a little bit better. Some people have their problems with how Dewey died in Scream 5. I think that the way that Karen died in Halloween Kills is a little bit worse. Only because of the way it's set up. Some of the things that just, of course, don't make sense surrounding it. And just the, the nature of it all in the sense of how it was set up. <laughs> that's really just my only gripe with it the character's death in and of itself will still have value i feel going into halloween ends when we learn how the characters are dealing with it how this has affected allison how it's affected Lori, how it's brought them closer together and just how they're juggling that collective trauma allison more so because she's not only lost her mother she lost her mother and her father in the same night that's got to be something that's a little bit traumatic for a person who's about to graduate high school to of course endure you got cheated on in the same night your your ex's friend tried to hook up with you well not hook up but tried to kiss you <laughs> and then that ex that same ex that you kind of showed signs of wanting to get back with they ended up dying the same night so allison has a lot of trauma that needs to be explored there so that's why out of the three 
you kind of were already setting us up for who was the most expendable when we're considering the cushions underneath these characters karen doesn't have the have that much of a cushion compared to laurie and allison which is why she had to go not necessarily in the sense that she again needed to but when considering that they were going to kill them she was the one that had to go uh this doesn't mean that judy Greer won't appear in the film again the fact that she denied the script doesn't mean that she won't be back but she did say that she was offered the chance to read the script for ends and she just denied it because her character was was done she wasn't involved that doesn't mean that again changes weren't made along the way where they put something in into the movie that wasn't on on the on the script page because karen again can still appear but i just wanted to talk about that and kind of just go into my thoughts on the whole karen's death scenario and how i know a lot of people weren't happy with her dying some people were more accepting of that than do we for those of you who watch my um uh, scream videos karen's death just seems like it's going to be the death used to add a lot of emotional weight into the development we get going forward with allison and Lori. i don't think that you would have had the same impact if you killed Lori or if you killed allison because again those two characters seem to be representing past present future Lori is representing the past and also the present while allison can i guess you say also represents the present and the future since she's the youngest of these characters so while considering that again that's the justification as to why if you had to kill someone it needs to be karen i'm sure we'll get plenty of mentions of the character in the next film halloween ends that comes out again later this fall that doesn't mean that she'll appear something just tells me that judy Greer will appear in some fashion uh, now i might be mistaken if she's actually came out and said she's not in the next movie then correct me down in the comment sections but even still of course we know that that doesn't really mean anything considering the the way people will go out of their way to of course lie to protect the secrets involved with filming and movie secrecy so if judy gear is in the movie or not that i won't mind it but i just want to go into some details about what she had to say with collider let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn up post notification there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video